this is a video review of the Classics Cliff Conversion Kit by the company that would become Fans Project. Uh, it was limited to 300 pieces and I was super, super excited when I was able to pick one up uh, for myself. Um, I'm a huge Cliff Jumper fan, so. You can see I am here with the upgrades already applied. That was the only thing I was a little bit sad about is I didn't get to apply them myself. Um, I've got them here uh, with a regular Cliff Jumper one without the upgrades. And you can see there's a couple of differences in the two of them. Um, for example, he's obviously got these spoilers on the front, and the engine or air intakes that he's got are slightly different. It's almost unnoticeable unless you really look. It's just a little rounder compared to the original one, but uh, it's one of the differences that, and part of the kit that was added. The other differences are the spoiler on the back. The new one's got a much sportier spoiler and a little license plate sticker there. Um, but you can see it just adds a different look. The whole idea behind this kit is that Cliff Jumper looks too much like Bumblebee, so any differences are uh, welcome. And I've added the wrapper labels to both just because I don't like the rub sign. I'm just gonna blow through the transformation on this guy because I'm sure um, everyone here has played with one of the five or six redecos that this mold has had. And I'm really reviewing just the the Fans Project kit and what that adds to the uh, mold itself and why you might be interested in it. You can see in robot mode here that the upgraded bumpers and the upgraded uh, air intakes are still visible, which is nice because it uh, helps make this look different than the standard issue of the mold. Um, and in this mode, uh, the real reason to get the upgrade kit is uh, visible, which is the upgraded head, which gives you a, a helmet piece and a faceplate. Now the faceplate is interchangeable with the other two parts uh, that you saw earlier in the video. Uh, this is my favorite version of the face. Um, I'll show the other two off later on. He also comes with uh, the glass gun, which is his kind of standard weapon, which is nice because it didn't come with any weapon. The, the the clip jumper mold didn't come with the weapon. And it's also got an even bigger gun. Now, it's got a little kickstand slash stabilizer and it's got this uh, handle here for letting you pose it. And it really gets in there nice. It's a little loose, but if you position it over shoulder, it looks really good. And it references uh, a scene from the cartoon, which I'm just gonna show you right now. What are you doing? I've got Megatron dead center in my viewfinder. So you can see that if Cliffy was a better shot, you probably wouldn't want to mess around with him and his giant gun. I'm going to compare him really quickly now to um, an unupgraded Cliff Jumper. You can see he's uh, got quite a different look now than the original head that came with it, which was just a repaint of the. Bumblebee mold, um, and here is uh, United Bumblebee. So, if you look at him and the unupgraded Cliff Jumper together, you can see it's it's the same toy. Now, though, um, let me get him out of there. You've got two distinctive looking robots. You've got a Bumblebee and a Cliff Jumper instead of just a Bumblebee and a Red Bumblebee. Uh, you've got two faces that really do look like their characters, as opposed to just being twins. Um, with Bumblebee, I've actually given him the chrome gun from the G3 Fans Project trailer as well, just because he needs a gun, right? Why not? Um, I'm going to get the guns out of his hands here, and I'm going to show off the other neat feature of this uh, conversion kit, which is the uh, faceplate swapping. Because he's got this one, like I said, uh, is my favorite of the three faces. But he does come with two others in case you want to play around with the look. Give him a slightly different uh, look here. And you just slide the faceplate off and basically leaves him with no face. It's just the helmet. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the smiling face, which is uh, basically just the same idea, but with a smirk. More 
more so a smirk, I guess, than the smile that's on the regular Bumblebee head. And there you go, smiling away there. And if I get that one off, it's a little bit stubborn, uh, I'll put on the other one. And this is, uh, this is a weird one. Uh, it's like his O face. It's basically him just with an open mouth, kind of gaping. There we go. And there he is. Just looks surprised. Shock. And finally, just the packaging. This is the card that came on the back, which opens up, gives you a little two-page comic. The artwork's really nice. Um, just a quick little story and just the backing. Then you've got the instructions, uh, what comes with it, how to apply all the uh, little pieces of the kit. A uh, little warning saying don't use the screws on the engine parts, the air intakes, uh, to just glue them on. And then the certificate, which just tells you which number your kit is and gives you a little history. It also has this wonderful little message saying, do you love Transformers? We do. And then the uh, people involved. Anyway, I'm really happy I got this. Uh, I thought Long and Hard versus this and the Devil's Form kit and transferring a Warp Cybertron uh, clip jumper head over. I'm glad I went with this one though. Uh, it's a favorite character done by Fans Project. It was their first uh, real toy add on. And I'll leave you with an embarrassing clip jumper moment. Just one thing to say to you. Yeah? <laughs> what, Cliff Jumper? Move over! Hey, what's up? <laughs> I, I, I think I have a hole in my head that needs repairing, too! You what? <laughs>